Nice. Take a right. Doors open at 4.30, so I'm not late. I know, you're not late. You're oh, late. I thought the show started at 4. No, it starts at 5. Ah. Oh. Yeah. We've got those damn tornadoes we're going to make us late. Exactly. Let's see. Lead the way. I, I stand up over here if you want to set up right here. Yeah, you just want to put your gimmicks over here. Right, so. Give me space. My friend Lee is coming, so I gotta make sure he gets in. Alright. Hey! What's up? How are you? Hey, sure. I want a shirt. Huh. I usually don't wear wrestling shirts, but that's like a cool shirt. You can't even tell it's like a wrestling company yeah. shirt. See, foil, foil, foil. <laughs> uh, I even did makeup in the car because we were running so late. It's crazy. Did you hear about the tornadoes? Yeah. They were up in Connecticut and they actually followed us to New York. It's crazy. We were crawling for about for about 60 miles. It took us about two and a half hours. Was Curry there? Curry? Who? Curry. Tornado? I have no idea what they're called. Curry Von Eric. Tornado. Oh, curry. Right over your head. You said curry like the Indian spice. No, no. Curry. No. Uh, actually, we did joke about him in the car. Huh. Did you find your bathroom? We're filming. Yes. You're going to be on tape. You just got on tape. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Alright, might as well set up my shit. Uh, we're not late. I thought the show was starting at 4. Door zone opens at 4.30. We're fine. Let me get my phone to find that one. Consummate professional, exactly. Okay. So what's like the general thing you do when you first get to a show? I usually, I usually pee. Right. But I did that at the rest area on the highway, so I don't have to go. Or the paper or baby wipes, what do you prefer? Huh? <laughs> sure. Both. Right. I never leave home without baby wipes, except for today. I actually forgot them today. But I think I have some wet ones. But those burn because they have alcohol in them. Right, right, right. So, you know, those burn your hoo-ha a little bit. You need baby wipes. Hey, what's Good up? Season. I haven't seen you in forever. Yeah. Where'd all the gray hair come from? You know where it all comes Stress? <laughs> that was the promoter of uh, Above and Dragon Gate South. Oh, he's part. He part. He's part of this company. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. He's the owner of a I've known Sal for a long time. Oh yeah. Back in the day, we won't mention for what. Well, we don't. We don't talk about it. Exactly. Oh, now everybody's saying, oh, "What should you do with Sal?" Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, I gotta find the pieces to this. Oh, oh. You're just gonna film me the whole time I'm sitting up. Right? Probably. My butt, I mean, we are, when, it, when the doors open, I'm going to take a break and then, you know. Alright, now if I can remember how this thing goes together. I am blonde, you know. So, what time is it now? Ah! And doors open in an hour? Perfect. Yeah, we'll go in that room like, after you want to go to the dressing room and do like a quick 20 minute interview. Okay. Because I'm missing a screw. It's right, it's right next to you. Alright. Yeah, I'm missing a screw. I don't know why. Alright, it's giving me a headache. How come I don't remember how this goes? Joe might be able to help you. A lot of people are like asking, they're like, oh, you gotta ask Tammy, do you think it's too soon? Do I think what? Do you think it's too soon to be back on the road right after rehab? I had my first job the day after. Right, right. I got out on Thursday, I worked Friday and Saturday. Oh, wow. It's never too soon. No. If anything, it's best to get right back to normal. I mean, that's one thing they actually teach you in there. They say no major, major changes in the first year, even though... Three days after I got out, I actually moved from New Jersey to Connecticut, yeah. so that is a major change. <clears throat> but um, they said no major changes go about, you know, life as usual, and life as usual for me is go to work. Cool. So, <laughs> it was, you know, no big deal. 
Confusion, confusion. What happens when you go to towns like where you, you know you don't drive? So what happens if you go to like the other states? The motors obviously provide all that transport. I usually don't drive if it's over like two, two and a half, three hours. Right, right. So I'll get flown wherever. All right, I'm having an issue here. This thing fell apart somehow, and I can't figure out how to put it back together. What? I know, but I'm already missing a screw, which isn't good. Any shady promoters at all in the indie world? <laughs> Are there any shady promoters? Like, what's the weirdest thing that you The weirdest one is Mike Sparta from Boston, Massachusetts. Completely the weirdest one. In what aspect? Alright, this won't go in. What am I doing wrong? Huh? Help us pick it in. Spit on it. <laughs> Spit on it? No. Other things go in that easily, but. Uh, we're already getting dirty. That's all good. <clears throat> Has any no, promoters ever hit on you? Of course. It's not, a, it's not a normal indie show if the promoter doesn't do it. Alright, I'm having issues. I don't know what's going on. Alright, I'm giving this a break. Um, I just worked a show in Arkansas about six months ago, and yeah, the promoter wouldn't quit. Alright. Uh, maybe more than six months ago. And then you always have to deal with like the guys on the road hitting on you, especially like the veterans, like the, oh, old, yeah. the old men who think they still have it and they don't. I'm not going to name names, but uh, last year it, we had a show in Oklahoma, 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 and uh, there is one legend veteran that I actually kind of saved his life, and he developed this huge crush on me, hit on me that way. Of course, nothing happened, and then uh, for the next like four months, I continually got naked pictures of him sent to me on my cell phone. Oh wow! They were some good pictures. Did I ever show you the pictures? No, and I don't want to see. It was on the phone that I lost, though, I think. Or unless it's Did on the phone before that. It wasn't, I didn't Jay, say who it, is. it wasn't Jay Strong, though, no. right? No. You don't, want to, you don't want to say who it is. I didn't say who it is. But yeah, for like four months, I kept set, getting texts, we should get together, and then naked pictures from like neck to crotch, and then some facials, and oh, it's Blackjack scary. Lanza? No. All right. No, but it was it was brutal. Tony it was really Gurria. Bad. We know it was Tony Gurria. Oh it god. wasn't Tony Gurria. Oh my god. Tammy. Oh my god. She right. does say that a lot. Oh my god. No, nah, we're not going to say who it is, but it happens. I don't want to say who it is because I don't want to embarrass him, and we are friendly, so I'm not going to not gonna screw that up. Plus, he's got an important family members. That's all I'm going to say. Gotcha. So. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's see what I'm going to put out today. Oh! This is only a quarter of the stock. That's great. I have way too many pictures of myself. So yeah, this one promoter in Arkansas, he's just, I guess he figured since he brought me in for the show, he could right. get himself in other places, but it wasn't going to happen. Not with that ugly guy. And that's not typically how, typically how I roll anyway. Uh, you already scanning the Just look at him. You gotta give Damien a couple more uh, videos to watch. Yeah, definitely. Give me a couple more. Do you shop? Do you shop it? <laughs> He's gonna shop. If I could only remember. Oh, where are the ones that are signed? Are they still in the back of the car? I'll put the unsigned ones out. Cause I have this. Check that out. The Hall of Fame class. That's an awesome I have everyone autographed except for Sean so far. Right. So when I get his next month, it'll be complete. Where are you going to see Sean at? Isn't he at Legends? Uh, no, he's no, at New York. He's at one. that convention in New York. Oh, okay. Well, he's somewhere, so we'll find him somewhere. Uh, so, Rob, what's up with you these days? Working every weekend, doing shows, interviews, conventions, Wizard Worlds, everything you can name. <laughs> Same business. And next week I actually took off because uh, since I just moved into the new apartment not even two weeks ago, got a little shopping to do, some decorating. I still have tons of boxes to unpack. You're up in Connecticut now, right? Connecticut, right outside of New Haven in Brantford. Nice. So, How far that way from the office? Uh, it's exit 54. The office is exit 9. Okay. So it's not far at all. But um, it's nice. It's a nice little town. It's very quiet where we are. It's uh, it's good. It's really good. It's um. Like I said, you know, they tell you not to make any major changes in the first year at a rehab, but right. 
so instead I completely move states. <laughs> but it's much better this way. Uh, sometimes I need a babysitter. Right, let's <laughs> And uh, right now I have a very good babysitter. Like, last night, what you guys call it? I think, were you guys at a restaurant or a bar? Ab combo, it's a restaurant bar kind of thing. Um, a friend of ours, a friend's, friend of ours friend was a drummer in the band that night. They always have live music, so we went to see her friend. But let me tell you, I mean, I can, I'm, I've been at bars, since I got out of rehab, I've been at bo busy bars with a lot of people drinking probably four or five times already since I've been out. Easy. Not one urge, not one craving. Cool. See, the difference is, in the past, I mean, I've, I had my first drink at 25. We all know that by now. Um, in the past, I've gone through periods of sobriety for years at a time, and I've always been able to quit on my own, no problem, never drank, and then I would start drinking again for a couple years, and then I would quit again for a couple years. I've always gone through that, just this time I couldn't do it on my own like I usually did. So, um, just needed a little bit of help, and I figured, let me go get the right kind of help. And it was, and seriously, I would recommend rehab to even sober people. You learn so much about yourself. Um, it's just, it's kind of like a retreat and like a little escape from reality for a little while. Is, there, he, is there treatment like psychological or is it like, do they help you like with medicine as far as like? They, yeah, they have everything there. Everything. See where I went, it's also, believe it or not, it's also a mental institution. Right. <laughs> That's where they sent me. Um, so there's psychiatrists and doctors for people if they need any kind of antidepressants or right. any kind of medication to come off like, um, no withdrawal symptoms or, you know, any kind of urges and things like that. Um, there were a lot of people, because I was in a house with uh, 14, well, 14 of us total at times, sometimes as little as 8, sometimes as many as 14. Some people were on like Prozac, lithium, I mean, you name it, all these crazy, methadone, some people was depending on their problems. I mean, believe it or not, I had the least amount of problems in the house, so I kind of felt good about myself. Did they knew who you were? A uh, couple of them, yeah. Cool. A couple of them actually had boyfriends or husbands who, you know, were wrestling fans, so they knew right away. Right, right. And if they didn't know right away, we had access to iPads so we could go on some websites so everybody was looking me up. I had to sign a couple of pictures to send home with them to cool. their significant others. But, um, you know, I'm out of space. But it was, uh, let's see, what, what, should I, what should I take away and what should I put out? You don't know, I'll take that one out. Put another bikini in. Alright, I got two more, where should I put them? Protein shrink. Protein? Yes. Mm, sure. It's probably vodka in there, isn't it? No. Uh, so like I was saying, I've been probably to bars like like four or five times in the past two weeks since I've gotten out, and not one single urge. It's been refreshing. It really has been. I mean, and I've been like the sober one, and people have, like people who that we were out with and didn't know, they would like offer me shots when it was shot time, and it didn't face me at all. I mean, today actually is 56 days sober. I was going to ask you how many days. It's 56 days. So they encourage us to count, you know. Right, right. So um, it's been yeah, it's been it's been awesome. It really has been. It's been really, really, really and really easy. Um, you know, I'm going to some meetings when I need to out of here. They always, you know, well, they want you to go to like a meeting every single day, but I mean, sometimes it doesn't, you know, coincide with your schedule. Right. So, you know, whenever I have an urge or something like that, which is far and few between, if I ever even think about it, I'll call up my sponsor that I got when I was in there. And they don't like try to talk you out of drinking. They just try to find out well, why would you think about it or, you know, just try to change the subject to get your mind off of it, you know, and uh, I haven't even had to do that much. Usually I call her up just to say, hey, you know, how are you? I miss you because I right. saw her all the time when I was in there. But, um, like I said, I would recommend it to sober people because you really, you learn a lot about yourself. And we did so many, so many activities and, and group sessions, just finding out who you are and learning how to be a different person and a better person. Does any of the boys reach out to you? Like, I know Animal wrote on your uh, Facebook wall. Oh, yeah, we talk all the time. He's like, he's like family. His whole family is my extended family. So, um, no, I've, I've talked to him quite a few times about it. He's always been, you know, amazingly supportive. He'll always be that way in whatever I do. I mean, he's, like I said, he's my brother. You know, in this right. business, if you, you know, if you want to depend on anyone, it's him. I'm really having issues with the stand. I can't remember how it goes together. I can tell. What well, you, you got a sign for it? Yeah. The Why don't you just hang up the sign like we did on ours? Then maybe I can figure it out. Well, there's tape on the floor. Maybe if Joe was nice enough, he could help. Yeah, Joe.
on the road. Just put one on and then take it over, well, over the top. Well, if you put it on, it's on the back. You think it'll stick that way? Because it's yeah. not the bar. Is it? It's going to be the joke for how many people to take the take up the sign. What nationality are you? Uh, Italian. Just Italian? German. Okay, I'm German too. How many Germans does it take to bang up a sign? Are you any Polish? I'm Polish. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, how many German Polacks does it take to bang up a sign? Oh, I see. Yeah, but what about the the bar though is going to I'll get another piece. That is great. You stand like that all night. No, I said it's a straight. Oh, yeah. I thought you said it's a great. Alright, let's see how long it holds. Then maybe I can figure this out later. He didn't know. Who's the guy that my boyfriend's talking to? I have no idea. I got a text message. Oh! Oh, what's going on here? Uh, Kirkwood, I missed his call. Kirkwood out in California? Yeah. He told me he was going to call me, but I told him I might not pick up. Confused. So what should I do? What time the doors open? Gabe, see what you're doing. You want to do yeah, it? let's go find Gabe and right. then I'll get changed and finish fixing myself up. Where is he? Uh, probably in the back somewhere. 